fantastic microbes and where to find them. Today we're going to be looking for fried shrimp at the Great Salt Lake. Woo! And this is a point where it got too windy, so you basically couldn't hear anything. But what I'm about to tell you is that we're looking for brine shrimp eggs, and that they usually wash up on the beach. And here is the beach. So it might just look like any other beach with lots of white foam and, you know, just a ton of debris and stuff. But we're going to take a closer look at this foam because there's a lot of brown stuff, and this is actually what we were looking for. These, you can't really see with my fingers there, but these are brine shrimp eggs. They're really, really small. And I'm basically just going to collect these in a pill container, which you will see right here. And here's me just talking to nobody since the wind is not working with my phone. And here I am scooping up some of the foam and some of the brine shrimp eggs. Alright, so I got my collection of brine shrimp eggs, and one thing that's really cool to notice is that there are some that float to the top and some that sink to the bottom. The ones on the bottom are the ones that haven't hatched, and the ones on the top have hatched. So I took these back home to my dark field microscope, and these are the ones that already have hatched. You can see most of them, they're cracked, and uh, that's done by the brine shrimp themselves. They basically just crawl out. And here is a view with my tip scope microscope adapter. This is something I just put right onto my phone, and I had these eggs right on top of this uh, medicine dropper right here. And just for reference, you can kind of see the number two. Uh, or the 0.25, this is right where that was. So these are really, really small eggs. Now back at the lake, there was a patch of really mucky water, and I decided to take a look at this. And this is probably where a lot of brine shrimp food is. So I grabbed some of these and brought it back home to the lab. So this might surprise a lot of people because the Great Salt Lake is so salty that not a lot of people think that things can survive in there but it's actually full of tons of microorganisms. And here are some other eggs in this shot for context to see how big these things are. Now one of the last things I wanted to look at here was the sand. Now at the Great Salt Lake, the sand is really, really unique in that it's basically made up of all of the poop from the brine shrimp, and then it's covered in calcium and salt and more calcium. So here's that sand under the microscope, and I have it between two glass slides because I didn't want to get my phone wet, because uh, I was just using my tip scope uh, phone adapter. So this is straight up right in against the slide. But yeah, so if you were to cut these in half or dissect them, then you would see either poop or maybe a brine shrimp inside. So kind of cool. And here's a view of some other cool sand that I found. These are just some uh, salt crystals that had formed right at the beach. And yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. It got pretty windy after that, and so we decided to pack everything up and go home. Now, since the beginning of the making of this video, I started uh, hatching some brine shrimp, and so another video of that is going to be coming up soon. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you very, very soon.